Credit cards are one of those things that you might use every day without fully understanding the details of how they work, particularly how your interest charge is calculated each month. Now remember, you don't owe any interest at all as long as you pay off your statement balance in full every month, and you can check out my other video for more information on that. But if you can't afford to pay off the statement balance in full, you'll be charged some amount of interest, but how much? Here's a depiction of a credit card billing cycle. Let's suppose you start the billing cycle with $700 on your credit card. I'm gonna go through an extra simplified calculation of how your interest is calculated. Suppose you keep $700 balance on your credit card the whole month and never use it. Pull out your rates and fees table that you got with your credit card and find your APR. Write this down. In this case, this card it was 23.99%. But that is your annual percentage rate. If you're trying to calculate the interest you owe in one month, you can approximate it by taking your annual percentage rate and dividing it by 12. So it's about 1.99% each month. So if I take my $700, multiply it by the interest rate for that period, one month, I get $13.98 of interest. This is a rough estimate. If you want to understand how it's really calculated, you have to go down to the daily level. Take your 23.99% APR, divide it by 365, the number of days in the year. This gives you your daily periodic interest rate. In a month with 31 days, my $700 balance times my daily rate is $14.26. This is slightly higher than the $13.98 I got with my estimation method, but that's because there's 31 days in this month. In a month with only 30 days or 28 days, the interest owed would be even less. Remember, you're paying interest for the privilege of holding that debt over time. So if you hold that debt for 31 days, you owe a little bit more interest than if you only hold it for 30 days. But let's take a more realistic example. Suppose I start with a $700 balance on my card, but then on day six, I make a $69 charge at the grocery store. Now my balance is higher, $769.45. Then maybe I fill up with gas on day 12, I go out to eat on day 17, I buy a gift for my wife on day 21. Now I'm up at a balance of $852 later in the month. Maybe around this point is when my payment was due from the previous month. So I've made a payment of say $300 on day 26. This lowers my balance to only $552 and one penny. This is a much more realistic example of typical credit card usage. Now calculating your interest charge for this month comes down to the average daily balance. Let's look at my credit card agreement. It says, to get the average daily balance, we take the beginning balance of your account each day and add any new transactions and fees and subtract any payments or credits. So for day one, we take 700, day two, 700, day three, so on, $700 each day. Until day six, we take 700 and add any payments or credits. So they add a credit of $69.45 and so on. So they calculate the balance every single day then we add up all the daily balances for the billing cycle. So I had five days at $700, six days at 769.45 and so on, and divide by the number of days in the billing cycle, 31. So you've got 31 individual daily balances divided by 31 gives you your average daily balance of $738.24. What do we do with that value? We figure the interest charge on your account by applying the periodic interest rate to the average daily balance of your account. So the average daily balance times the periodic interest rate. So it's 31 days times that daily interest rate we calculated earlier equals $15.04. That is your true exact interest charge for this month of credit card usage. Now this brings up some interesting points. Let's depict that average daily balance as this dotted line here. You know, our, our true daily balance fluctuated throughout the course of the month, but our average daily balance is $738. What happens if you made some of those charges later in the month? Let's imagine pushing them out. If you calculated it out, you've got many more days at $700 instead of higher values. So your average daily balance actually drops. This means you'll pay less interest in this example month than the first one. So it actually matters what day you make charges on your card. Here's another example. This is go, goes back to our starting scenario. What if when we make the first charge, 
we pay it off instantly. This drops down our average balance for the whole rest of the month, which significantly affects our average daily balance, which is what the interest rate is based off. Let me show you again. This is our starting example, but now we make a payment to the credit card shortly after making this charge, and this drops the average daily balance of the whole month significantly. In other words, when you make a charge on your card, it starts affecting the amount of interest you owe that very same day. Remember, we have no grace period here. We have started the month with, a, with a, a full balance. We've carried a balance over. If you don't understand what that means, watch my other video linked in the description. Once you start carrying a balance, you basically are charged interest the moment you make a transaction. You go up and fill up your tank of gas, you start accruing interest that very day. Hopefully this video helps you understand the details of how credit card interest is calculated and charged. Now, I cannot recommend enough to never pay a dime of interest in your life by always paying off your statement balance in full every single month. Then you won't even have to worry about what your APR is or how interest is calculated.